we are two weeks out from the marathon and Alephine is doing 15 miles at marathon effort. Now we're at 7,000 feet so it won't be marathon pace, there'll be a little conversion. Uh, ben Bruce is going to pace for as long as he can so we're looking at about 545s. Um, for reference, you know, she's coming back from having Zoe in January. Before the Olympic trials, this was more like 535. Um, so it's not far off. The weather oh, okay. is perfect. Good. Look at it. Yeah. Alfie's in heat training, oh, so I think right. she's going to really yeah, enjoy I, I, today. I it's going to be a beautiful, minutes. beautiful I'll run. Be she's been getting fitter and fitter every week, so I expect this one to go very, very well. I don't feel fit right this second, but I think that might change hopefully if I have a good workout. Um, but yeah, I mean, I definitely have come a long way in the last uh, four months of training. So that's a good thing. It just feels like today came too fast. And I thought I was gonna feel like a million bucks, I don't feel like a million bucks right now. Who does getting a warm-up, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll be, uh, I'll be going 30 total today. Um, 30 miles on the bike, running into a little foot injury, but i um, here to help Alephine out with that first 15, and then just rip on, on the way back. Lake Mary, uh, Lake Mary Miles, you know, should be good. Oh, I don't know, it's just 420 right now, so she's got a couple minutes here, or a minute and a half, something like that. Classic running down Lake Mary Road for 15 miles. Uh, not me personally, I'll just help Alphine as long as I can. Um, kind of coming off a, a little little injury myself, nothing major, but just, it's just the mileage is getting to me and these women are fit, so it's hard to get them all the way. So we just kind of hit marathon effort for Alphine and, um, and hopefully once I step off, she goes faster than what we're running. 545.1. That's good pacing. She's been 45, 46, 37, so all good. Sometimes Lake Mary early on, there's a lot of undulation, so you just gotta take what the road gives you. Uh, but she'll, she'll really lock into a nice rhythm here, I think past four miles. That was 539 uh, for mile number six. I'm just watching her as she goes down the road. I think she looks good. Well, I think she looks good. This is, um, at least from a splits perspective, better than expected. Of course, uh, we have a long way to go. Yeah, so I've been putting in about 100 plus miles. I think the highest I've had was 115, and that was last week. Um, I think this week I'm only going to have like 100, and then it goes down from here. Um, but I've had a few weeks of uh, 100 Mile 
last we're mile. We're getting to halfway now, and she's still cruising along. That was 5:37, so she's rocking and rolling. I maybe could run one mile for her, but um, I'm just coming back. So just here to cheer. Yeah. Yeah. 5.2.0. Yeah. But yeah, like especially after big sessions like today, my body is still very weak, and so I still need a lot of stretching. Um, but I'll try to focus on relaxing and uh, getting a lot of sleep. <laughs> As a new mom, it's definitely not easy to get a lot of sleep these days. So. She's rolling. She's really doing an amazing job here. I would say one of her best uh, 15 milers really that I've ever seen her do and that's quite, that's quite amazing. I'm very excited. workout that I really like when you do it you kind of uh, ask yourself am I ready to run a marathon and uh, you know I ran 541s uh, for 15 miles I, I basically uh, ran the same thing I ran 20 yoke um, so but I'm not too tired my legs are tired but the rest of my body is good so I'm confident you know like uh, I'm hoping that uh, when the rest comes around in a couple weeks, we'll feel a lot better than the workout. So. All right. I believe she just averaged 541 for 15 miles out here. I think that she did that at the end of a really tough three-week sort of uh, block of training, and she's probably fitter than when she ran the New York City Marathon, and she got 12th place there in 228. Um, Probably not quite as fit as she was at the trials, but we never expected that. The, the thing I liked about today was she was strong all the way through, could have kept running. That's really what you want on this 50 miler. You don't want to leave your race out here. You don't want to turn it into a 50 mile race. You really want to be running marathon effort, and she really was, and this was at 7,000 feet. Now, it wasn't terribly hot today. It was actually quite nice, but it was humid, uh, and we've been doing a bunch of hot and humid work. So I do think that when she goes to Sapporo, uh, she will be able to run uh, a really strong race all the way through to the finish. And you know, her 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 overall place is not completely in her control, but she will control what she can control, and I think that will end up uh, producing a very good result. Well, I thought Alephine handled it really well. She she's really good at understanding that she doesn't have to be in identical shape that she was for the trials but she knows coming off of you know six months of training she's in really a really good place 